What's happening, everybody? This is JT back with another episode. And today, the boy, he got some cavities filled on the left side of his face. Feeling hella crazy right now. Slept off that numbness, that Novocaine. That's that synthetic cane right there, boy. If you're trying to get that all-natural hitter from the doctors, get a cavity and just let them bitches dig in. And check this. So, old boy over here, he's he's a, he's a tight-ass Asian. Try to get Asians as your doctors, bro. I, me, me and the wifey, we look up doctors for my insurance, and we just look up closest Asian to us. Fire. Haven't been let down once, but I'll tell you what. They don't talk much, but they get straight to the fucking point. But my man got that synthetic cane up in that syringe. Numbed both the bottoms, went to the top. Yeah, the boy made sugar, but I don't even know how, it, like, but fucking, um, he japped my tongue accidentally, and I think some of the, the cane went in the tongue. Baroski. He put the rest in my top, and then, you know, as they was digging in, he went to my top fucking cavity back here. Gee, I, did, I had all the feeling in it. Fucking hurt like a motherfucker, bro. He just straight tooth fucking without without no cane. I was like, where the cane at, my boy? Where the cane? Give me that Nova cane. But um, it took like four fucking. He 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 gave me an emergency injection. Emergency injection. That's the name of this episode. Right there, boom. Had my fucking shit numb all the way up to the top of my head. I was like, thank you. And then, yeah, so. And then that makes me think, I'm like, boy, the last time I went to the dentist was a year, like a year ago. But I know the people that don't go to the dentist, your teeth are fucked. They're rotting from the inside. You need to go get them shit checked unless you're super fucking healthy or some shit. But like, I don't know. But it sucks because... Every time I suck in, I feel like sensitivity on my left side over here. Because you know my fronts and shit, I tie it. It was my back shit. Fucking hell, hell okay, bro. But, um, yeah, man. Um, went, went to the, went to my, my, the fucking, the Taekwondo instructor, Asian fucking dentist who chopped me up real quick. Felt fucking fantastic. And, um, yeah, we're just balling out right now. He's supposed to do my right side next week. Oh, boy. I'm not going to be able to eat shit. I was literally drinking an IPA from a straw. So, heads up. When you get your your teeth worked on, if you still want to consume your favorite liquid, which is the nectar of Jesus, you know, brewskis. If you want to still consume the brewski, boys. Let that shit get to medium medium temperature if you if you're patient. And I just put a straw right there, suck it from the side, like Stephen Hawking. I was Stephen Hawking my IPA. Fuck. And sometimes though that shit would sneak over the other side. I'm like, ah, ah. Mid fucking yeah, dude. I was like a fucking, a uh, fucking um a mental patient from an asylum, like a, a house oh. A uh, housewife from the from the twenties when she started asking questions, mental asylum. I was like her, I was like, looking around and shit. But other than that, you know, just been. Um, I talked to my auntie yesterday, and uh, my auntie is my dad's youngest sister, and she's a wild one. She, I talked to her and I'm like, Auntie, what you doing? She's like, man, I'm over here drinking tequila from a wine glass. Like hilarious shit. And if you have a fucking Mexican auntie who's a part chola, fuck it. <laughs> throw it up, throw it up, throw it up for the Serenia. Like that, throwing whistles out. You should, I'm, if you bring her to her, I, she brings me, she always shows me off when I go there. She used to at least, cause I don't go there anymore. And she used to take me her to her chola friend's houses. And just be like, who wants to get with my nephew? And all her, they, they were trying to like, um, what do the Indians do? Like, um, when they pick their brides and shit, they would try to hook me up with their younger daughters and shit. And we, all of us were like, I was like, bitch, I have a, like, no, I'm not fucking these chola bitches. 
And even the Cholot bitch's daughters were like, we were like in the medium of looking at them like, you realize they're crazy, right? I hope you don't turn out like them. And she's looking at me like, yeah, I realize they're crazy. I hope you don't turn out like them either. I'm like, I'm not, I'm here to pick this bitch up. And she fucking entrapped me to show me off in this party for another two hours and then try to provoke me to drink and drive home. And I'm like, no, nah, auntie, I'm here and I'm smoking weed and we need to get the fuck out of here. And in the meantime, they're fucking throwing up fucking. And that always makes me think though, like every time like people, just innocent people getting caught up in shit, dude. Hilarious. But uh, drinking tequila out of a wine glass champ status and she brings jose cuervo cuervo gold in her purse everywhere and i swear on the good lord if she a pint she can hit a pint from the back blow the back out a pint pop 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 back out the back's blown out doggy style pop she just fronted it jose cuervo gone bro and she'll talk shit the whole time funny fool so you don't want to take a shot with me do I take a shot? What? You pussy? You a faggot? Saying crazy shit. I ain't saying that really. Don't, don't fucking shadow about me. But that's what my auntie says, dude. Crazy, right? <laughs> Man, it sucks. Cause now I notice every time I laugh, I do a fucking deep. And it fucking hits the back of my fucking molars and goes right into the creases and fucking. Boy, man. Cavity shit kicking. And um I guess uh on some on some other news what um <clears throat> yeah I guess there was a, like a, some horrible shootings and shit but like damn I everywhere I fucking go I swear to god even that everywhere needs one armed guard where and it has like a fucking I don't know, dude. One armed guard everywhere. We have one at our dispo. He watches YouTube in front of the store all day long and no one fucks with us. Set him up up front with a fucking YouTube, with the YouTube thing. Let the homies kick it, dog. It'll be good. Trust me, it works. But other than the dentist, other than that, we took a tour of the hospital where my, where my baby's getting born, me and the wifey. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what's crazy though? So, so, I I remember where I was when Sandy Hook happened. I was walking into a Quidoba after after um, working out at Gold's Gym. I was with my homie Everett and Jeff Duff, and I barely had any money at the time. I probably had like eleven dollars. I had just enough to get a burrito. Like, you got to understand, I didn't start eating out until I was like, nice 18. Kids nowadays eat sushi and shit, hibachi at fucking seven. I didn't even eat, I didn't eat sushi until I was of age. Until I can join the war, I didn't eat sushi. And my fucking forefathers that fought the, the great world war of number two would be proud of me for that. For sticking fucking strong with these cultural fucking, you know, cultural pushes that try to make other cultures fucking like regular here but what were we talking about again oh yeah um but anyways yeah shout out to sushi dude shit's fire as fuck pissed i didn't start eating until i was 18 made me appreciate it though oh man but great times dude fucking great times and then, um, yeah, I fucking, um, there was another, uh, there's another podcast here in Vegas that, um, my boy, I saw we did this dude, his name's like Mike Krasner or something. He's a cool cat, man. He's solid tight. And I get, he, uh, I guess he has a podcast too with these, with this other comedian and this other, like, the DJ dude. This, like, sound editor or some shit. I didn't really pay attention. But, um, that's what's up because like, there's comp like there's a, there was another cut comedian do it too, but man, it's fucking tired, dude. When people are doing their own things, it's fucking tight. 
But I don't know if you guys have watched the show Barry on HBO. But it's the fucking tightest thing I've seen in fucking like since Bally. It's like a white version of Bally. A, a comedic white version of Bally is um, Barry on HBO. This hitman comes, well, this guy comes back from the war and he's all fucked up. You know, when you're super efficient at your job and then they kick you out and you're like, what am I supposed to do now? Like, as of right now with me, I'm a salesman. I sell shit. If I were something were to happen, I would keep selling something else. And in this guy's case, he starts fucking killing more people, which is fucking tight. And in the meantime, he gets like, he gets introduced to like an acting coach and um, it takes off from there. And it's a hell of a fucking ride, dude. But it's fucking fun. I'm gonna take care of my shit real quick. I don't even know what to fucking do, bro. If you know what, if fat people, if you want to fucking lose weight, take care of your fucking cavities. That's how I know fat people don't go to the dentist. I know for a fact fat people don't go to the dentist. Cause if you did, that two sensitivity when you take care of your cavity lasts for twelve weeks. In that twelve week span, get on a keto diet liquid fucking shakes and you'll fucking start high stepping downstairs and shit bro or upstairs who knows bro you might do someone a favor if you start high stepping downstairs and kill yourself I'm just playing <laughs> i'm just teasing y'all <laughs> but everyone knows uh obese people are worthless unless you're funny or have some sort of talent but if you just stay at home and fucking make youtube videos about eating all day that's talent too shout out to us that's jt Back with another episode. Shout out to everyone doing their thing out there. JT Bane back with another one. We done, son. One time for the one time. Number 52. Got it right this time. <laughs>